I'm going to do several examples. They're all kind of short, but I'll do them all in one video here. Uh, demonstrating how to use the log properties. Um, and before we start, let's just kind of examine them. I'm going to look in the uh, left column, and I'm going to look at the left row in a minute. So this says that the log to base B of M plus another log to base B, see how they're th the same bases? If I add them up, I can write that as just one log to base B of M times N. So I can take two logs and I can combine them into write them into one log. And if I had a log that had two things multiplied together, I could expand them to write them as two separate logs. And likewise, the one in row two here, here we have uh, two logs that are subtracted, and then I can combine them to write them as the quotient here. And then, so I could go this way and write them as one log, and then likewise, if I had two things that were divided and I wanted to write them as separate logs, I could go the other way. And then the last one we're already familiar with, uh, that is the power property, and I will demonstrate that when we work on logs. Alright, so let's do um, an example here. So let's start with here, let's write an example here. So I've got the log, the log, the L, we'll use natural log, the log of 2, base 2 of x, plus the ln of 2 of y. So here are two separate logs, and I want to write these, let's make a note up here. We're going to write as a single expression. In other words, I want to combine them into one log. So that's what these first few examples are. So if these are written together, I'm sorry, if they're added together, and if the bases are the same, then I can write this as one log, and of course it's going to be base 2, and then I'm simply going to take the x and multiply it with the y. So that's writing it as one log. Let's do another example, very similar. Here I've got the log of base 3, that's a 3, of 10, minus the log base 3 of 5. And I want to write as a single expression. So that's going to be a log, and it's going to be base 3, of course. And then I take uh, the 10, and I divide it by the 5. And of course, you know 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I could rewrite this as a log to the base 3 of 2. Um, and then you could evaluate that uh, with change of base. We'll do that in another, uh, in another um, video later on. Okay, so let's now work the other way. Let's expand. So let me erase all this stuff here. And then we will expand. So we're going to take a single log and then write it as multiple logs. These ones are called expand. And let's start with an example here. So here I have the log of 4 over x. And if there's no base written here, you assume it's 10. Well, notice how 4 is divided by x. So I'm going to use this property right here. So then I can write it as the log of 4 minus the log of Let's do another one. Here's the log of 4y divided by x. So notice here, though, I've got two things going on. I've got a multiplication piece going on, and I've got a division going on. So let's, let's kind of think of these together. I'm going to lead you through this step by step. Let's think of the numerator together as one thing, kind of like we did over here with the 4. So because these are divided, I can now write this as the log of 4y, remember I'm keeping them together right now, minus the log of x. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at just this piece right here, and I'm going to say, hey, I've got two things multiplied together. So I can separate these by writing it as the log of 4 plus the log of y. And then, of course, I still have this piece on the end minus the log of x. And before I do the next one, I want you to notice something. I'm going to color code. All right, so here's the stuff that's in the numerator, the 4 and the y. And I want you to look at the sign 
in front of those two things. And here's the part that's in the denominator. And I want you to look at the sign in front of that when I'm all done. And maybe you can see a pattern right now. But the pattern is, if I have, um, if I have terms in the numerator, they end up with an adding. If I have terms in the denominator, those add up, or, or those end up being subtracted. Let's do another example. And I'll add a lot more stuff to it here so we can, we can see how to apply that. Right, so we've got the log of 2xy squared. So I'm going to give you a show you what to do with the power here. Okay. So I could if I wanted to, um, in fact let's do it, let's just do it this way. I'll do it a couple different ways. So I could think of the whole numerator together, right? So let's do that. And so now I can separate this as the log of 2xy squared minus the log of 3. And now I can see that these are multiplied together. So now let me expand those. This becomes the log of 2 plus the log of x plus the log of y squared. And then I still have the minus the log 3 on the end. And then one more thing I want to show you here. When we have this power right here, the 2, this can come down in front by using the power property. So all I'm going to do is rewrite this again. And I'm just going to bring that power right to the front like that. And let's examine what things have a plus and what things have a minus and where they came from. Those are all pluses and this last one is a minus. So where did it come from? Well the, the one that's a minus is a 3 that came from the denominator. All of them that have pluses came from the numerator. So if you're ready, you can simply go from this directly down here to this, if you'd like. You can just um, just do that all at one time. So now what we're going to do, let me erase all this, and we're going to do an example where we go the other way. So we have something expanded, and then we want to uh, rate that as a single log. so I better take some more room to write this out. So the log of the square root of 2 plus I've got the log of the fifth root of 2 minus 2 times the log of x. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is get some powers going on here. So let's just rewrite this with some powers. So one half, or the square root, I can just write as a one half power, and let's rewrite this one with a power. So the fifth root, I could write as a power of one fifth, and then look, the two is down here in the front, so I can kick that back up and let that be a power. So let's do that. Okay. So now I want to notice what stuff is has a positive in front of it, and I want to notice what stuff has a negative in front of it. And now I'm ready to write as one log. I'm just going to make a big fraction bar here. So all the stuff that has a positive, those pieces go in the numerator. So that's the 2 to the 1 half. And remember it gets multiplied. Now we have the 2 to the 1 fifth. So those two pieces that are numerators, I'm sorry, two pieces that are positive end up in the numerator. And the piece that is negative, well that ends up in the denominator. And then I can shorten this a little bit because, let's just shorten it just a bit here, x squared, because when I multiply like bases I add the exponent. So one half plus one fifth, you can do this on your calculator, you could do it the old fashioned way of finding common denominators, and when you do that you get five sixths. So I can write this as two to the five sixths. And that's the end of this video showing you how to expand and how to write as a single expression using your log.